hello and welcome back to my channel. So you can see it is pouring outside. It's been like this for a couple of days now. The streets were actually flooding this morning so bad to the point that my street was just completely underwater. Today is my first day of college for my freshman year and I'm super excited. I have introduction to psychology this morning. I have English comp one and then I also have choir because I am in the choir. I auditioned for it and I'm really excited for all three of my courses today. So I was unable to get parking near my class, which is bad because uh, I had to come through like the back way because I live closer to the back way of the school. And as I was driving through, I saw students walking to class from like their homes because there's people that obviously live here on campus and they just look so depressed. It's currently Friday. This was Monday that I filmed this and honestly I was so excited and so pumped and like I still am for the semester but I'm not going to school and then coming home and doing hours of homework and not completing the homework because I have to go to work and then coming home to do more hours of homework and getting school and just doing a repeat of that routine is literally already killing me and it's only day five of school so pray for me. It's pretty bad. Um, I don't know what this experience of walking from point A right here to all the way over there, point B, it's not even that building, it's like way over, is going to be like. So we're Birkenstocks, which was probably not a smart idea, but like, it's fine. <laughs> okay, so I just got out of my first class. My next one is in like an hour. I, I get in, I see my door number that I'm supposed to go to in this hall, and I get to my class, and I, I see this girl and she's like, hey, um, do you think it's okay that we go in? And I'm just like, yeah, why not? You know, because like all these other people just walked out. She informs me she's only 16 and taking a college course. I'm like, okay, I've never heard of a 16 year old taking introduction to psychology. I was like, whatever, she's probably just interested in psychology. So we sit down and we get our name cards out. We start writing down the name. The teacher is so nice. Okay, this lady is so sweet. She's so organized. She's got all of these packets ready for us. I'm like, I love this lady. I can't wait to have her as my teacher. And then she's like, yeah, and also I have tea and coffee for you guys every day if you ever need it. Like, it's for you guys. I've got a whole coffee bar, tea stand for you. And I'm just like, this lady's so amazing. I don't deserve this woman to be my teacher. And then she sets the syllabus down. I look at the syllabus a little bit. I'm like, mm, this doesn't look right. But at the same time, I'm like, who am I to question it? And then someone's like, oh, is this psychology? And she's like, no, this is this is public speaking and I'm just like <gasps> Odell next to me like on the other side of the girl that asked me to sit with her was like oh my gosh me too like I'm supposed to be in psychology right now I was like thank god I'm not the only one that forgot the numbers she's like this is so embarrassing and I was like no not really like there's way more embarrassing things that can happen like it's fine so we we started running down the hall and we're just like where do we go like we're, we're lost we don't know where to go we're freaking out we're like oh my gosh we're not gonna make it five minutes to get to this class and we have no clue where it's at finally get down the hallway and we find it and we're just like phew and we walk in we sit down y'all let me tell you i went from this really nice organized lady to a man that tells me everything is online and he's as well someone that tells dad jokes i cannot stand dad jokes so i went from miss perfect to dad jokes like they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really Hello, so I just finished my other two classes today. English comp, like I said, and English comp didn't go so bad. Really nice professor in that class. Um, English was not my strong suit though, so I definitely told her ahead of time, like, hey, I'm not the best at English. So, right now, I'm getting ready to find somewhere to start schoolwork. I currently have one chapter due by Friday, actually by Wednesday. Um, for English comp, but I'm gonna go ahead and read ahead because I was told I could do that So I just want to get ahead on things So I'm currently at Starbucks because I decided to come here to study which was kind of a mistake because people I know come here and also it is Expensive to always be here and plus music is always playing and I forgot about that and I don't read well with music playing in the background so I probably won't do this again, but um, I've started the reading for one of my classes and I can honestly already confirm that I want to stab my eyes out. So I just got home and I had something to eat because I have to go to church soon. I only finished 
part of my psych reading. I finished the big portion of it that I needed to. Now I just have to read chapter one. The thing I didn't know is that you have to do the readings ahead of time before going back to class. That way you can understand the lectures a little better, which I find interesting because I didn't know that. That just blew my mind. I didn't ever think of it that way. I know it's probably something simple to catch on to to most people, but to me that was just like, whoa, that's a huge deal. So um, that's what's going on. I don't think I'm gonna vlog anymore today because I have talked about a lot of what I've been up to all day and I have lots of footage. So this was my first day of college experience. So far I've learned that time management is everything already and I am applying my knowledge that I have just gained involving time management to my life. Um, you know, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. I will see you guys in my next video. I've been waiting up all night for you, babe. You tell me I'm not the one, cause you're afraid.